Solar panels help to save energy because they remove a household's dependence on the national grid. The power that you are using is renewable and less energy is required compared to the energy produced by the grid. You can also store excess energy in a solar battery if you don't want to sell it back to the grid, giving you full independence even at night. A downside to solar panels is that they can cost a significant amount of money to purchase and install, and not everyone has the upfront funds that are required. However, there are options for people to have solar energy installed in their homes completely free of charge. To do this, you rent out your roof to the suppliers and they install the solar panels and you pay nothing, but the installer takes all the feed and tariff payments for the next 20 years. Benefits to solar panels include reducing the energy you use, you are not releasing any greenhouse gases, the energy is renewable, and there is little to no maintenance. Water conserving hacks. Oh, yeah. Make sure to turn off the running water while brushing your teeth. Only run the dishwasher when it's fully loaded. Keep a reusable water bottle in your fridge. According to the U.S. Department of Energy, lighting accounts for about 15% of global electricity consumption and 5% of worldwide greenhouse gas emissions. You can save energy by turning off the lights when you leave a room, using natural light when possible, and by using LED light bulbs. LED light bulbs are energy efficient and long lasting. Compared to conventional light bulbs, they consume over 80% less energy and can last up to 25% longer. Washing your clothes in cold water is a surefire way to save energy in your home. When you don't, about 85% of the energy used in washing your clothes comes just from the process of heating the water. Not only does it preserve energy, but it preserves your clothes to last longer as well so that you produce less waste and have less engagement in the consumer market. Many people believe that clothes cannot clean as well in cold water, and this is partially due to the fact that until the last 20 years or so, detergents were not made for cold water, but more and more detergents are being made to work in cold water, so this isn't an issue anymore. If you refuse to wash your clothes on cold, select cold for the rinse. Make sure you fill your washer up so that your clothes are doing less loads or adjust the water use to accommodate for small loads. After your clothes are clean, it is also important to air dry your clothes. 5% of domestic electricity use comes from clothes dryers. Although air drying might take longer, it is better for your clothes and saves the planet. Wanting to save energy but don't know where to start? Well, one thing you can be conscious of is when you spend time using electricity. Peak hours for electricity are between 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. So instead of doing everything at once, spread the time out for things like using the oven and the wash and, oh gosh, you know, the dishwasher, <laughs> you have washing things, dog, the shower, nope, and also use all the natural light that you can. Don't use a light during the daytime, only use it at night. <laughs> Use all that sunlight you got in your room. So, with that being said, avoid using large appliances all at once. Don't spend your time during peak hours and use natural light. Okay, that's it. Oh, there's my dog. Bye. <laughs>